Taoiseach, you might just update us on the government's consideration of the despicable legislation that was enacted by the British Parliament in regard to legacy issues. As we all know in this House, that legislation has no regard whatsoever for the victims of so many heinous crimes perpetrated by paramilitary organisations and also by some members of the British State Forces as well. As the needs and concerns of victims and the families of victims has to be be to the forefront in all our discussions and decision making. Again, at the end of this month, will mark the 50th anniversary of the bombing in Beltorbet, where two teenagers lost their life. Again, the truth has never been established in relation to who, who carried out that crime. Next May will mark the 50th anniversary of the Dublin Monaghan bombings. And again, there has been a total lack of cooperation by the British, um, by the British state in having a meaningful and comprehensive investigation into those atrocities. Again, Taoiseach, it, there's an urgent need, as we all know, to have the Northern Ireland Assembly, Northern Ireland Executive and the North-South Ministerial um, Council established to carry on with day-to-day -day and very, very important issues that concern the people on a daily basis. Thank you, Alaska and Corla. Thanks very much. Um, uh, Deputy Smith raised the issue of legacy issues um, and referred to the Bell Turbot and Dublin Monaghan bombings. Um, in relation to legacy issues, and a possible interstate case, uh, the legal advice the government has received from the Attorney General uh, in relation to the UK Act is an essential contribution to our consideration of whether or not to uh, take a case. Relevant ministers are studying the advice and considering next steps, looking at all the implications of such a decision. This includes the potential impact on the bilateral relationship, broader political and civic concerns in Northern Ireland on legacy issues and among victims, groups and families. This matter continues to be raised regularly with the British government, including most recently at the British-Irish Intergovernmental Conference that took place in Dublin on the 28th of November. Officials have been closely following cases being taken by individuals in the High Court in Belfast. Uh, these hearings concluded on the 30th of November, and the Department of Foreign Affairs are in ongoing contact with organisations um, providing the claimants with uh, assistance.